Whenever you're working with Windows, it is important that if you were to close an application, you close it completely. Sometimes what happens is that you feel, think that uh, an application is closed, but it is actually not closed. Let's say, uh, for example, I'm going to take uh, Firefox as an example right over here. So I open up Firefox, as you can see, and I'm just going to say not now. I don't want to make it my default browser. And I can see that Firefox is right over here. If I were to close the application just by clicking here, you can see it's closed. There's nothing on here right now. If I were to click it, uh, click it uh, again, just like this. And now if I were to actually create a new tab right over here, and if I were to drag this outside, you can see that there's two instances of Firefox right over here. But if I were to close this application, Firefox still stays open just like that. And let's say if I were to actually minimize this just like that, you can see that Firefox is open because of this white line which is actually appearing underneath it. So all of these applications, as you can see, is opened up in my computer right now, uh, which is indicated by this white underline, as you can see right there. So uh, you can close this out and also the shortcut to close uh, closing the application is Alt F4 which closes the application as well just like that. Another thing is that sometimes the program becomes unresponsive and it does not allow you uh, to close any application. In that case you can launch the task manager and then force the application to be quit. Uh, but note that any saved uh, any saved data or anything else will be lost once you do that. So in order to uh, launch the task manager on the start menu, you can just right click and you can go to the task manager right over here. So this will actually pop up as you can see right here. So I can click on Firefox and end the task or I can alternatively press Alt Control and Delete key and it'll bring up this menu. And here you can see that's task manager as an option. So let me just click on that. And over here, you find the same option. So once you go over here, I want to exit Firefox. I want to force quit it. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to end the task. That will end the task of the Firefox just like that as well. So this frees up the memory and helps you to work around with uh, other applications quite easily inside of Microsoft Windows 10. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.